In this video, we will go over uh, a matrix multiplication in which uh, one of our matrix is a square matrix uh, of size 3 by 3. So it has three rows and three columns. And because it has equal number of rows and columns, we are going to call this matrix a square matrix. And the other matrix is of size 3 by 1 where three is the number of rows and one is the number of columns. And because it has just one column, we are going to call this second matrix as a column vector because it has only one column. Um, notice over here that in order to be able to multiply two matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix should equal the number of rows in the second matrix. In that, uh, in this case, that number is 3, so it matches, so we should be able to multiply these two matrices, and our result should be having 3 rows and 1 column. So let, let us set up this problem using general matrices in A and B. Matrix A has three rows and three columns. The elements in matrix A are chosen as A subscript 1, 1, A 1, 2, A 1, 3, and all the way down to A 3, 3. And the, the notation chosen over here is for A 1, 1, it is the first row, first column element in A, first row, second column element in A, uh, second row, second column in element in A, and so on. And this, of course, has three rows and three columns, so its size is 3 by 3. Let us highlight the rows in blue, and let us highlight the columns in pink. So three rows and three columns. Similarly for B, it's a column vector size 3 by 1, so 3 rows and 1 column, and here I've got the first row, second row, third row, and only one column. So this is 3 by 1. In order to be able to multiply these two matrices, we know that we have satisfied the condition, the inner dimensions match, and the result will have the dimensions of the outer numbers, 3 by 1. Now let's see how we can go ahead and multiply these two matrices. In order to find the first row, first column element in the resulting matrix A multiplied by B, we need to take the first row of A, so let me quickly erase everything else, take the first row of A and multiply that or do a dot product of that row with the column in B. And that dot product can be written as A11 multiplied by B11 plus A12 multiplied by B21 plus A13 multiplied by B31. So it's an element-wise uh, product in which the, the resulting terms are being added up. So that gives me one element over here. And because this has a pattern, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. We can write these three terms being added up as a summation sign in which, say, our parameter i goes from 1 to 3, and we are multiplying a1i with bi1. So when i is 1, we are going to get a11, b11, that's the first term here, and then I, we get a12, b21, we get the second term here, and then when i is 3, we get a13, b31, the third element over here. Now similarly, to get our next element, we are going to switch the row number in A down to 2. So we are taking the second row in A and multiplying it with, or doing a dot product with, um, the column in B, that would give us our second row first column element in the result, A and B. So that can be written up again as a summation sign in a very compact manner as A2i, Bi2, 
and hopefully you can see the pattern over here the the ones are going to twos and then finally to the uh, the number three because in the last case to get the last element in the product we are going to move this down one more so for the last one we are we will be doing a three one multiplied by b one one plus a three two multiplied by b two one plus a three three multiplied by a b three one and then we add them up to find the dot product and we know also notice that the size of this result is three by one you've got three rows and only one column because all of these terms being added up that's just one one value and the same case over here three by one all right next let's take a look at an example with numbers so that we can apply the things that we have learned in the previous slide so here we have got two matrices a and b a is a square matrix of size 3 by 3 b is a column vector of size 3 by 1 and we are trying to multiply these two matrices it is possible because the inner dimensions match which is 3 so let's start writing our product matrix a multiplied by b so to get my first element or the first row first column element i'm going to take the first row in a and i'm going to do a dot product of that with the first column or the only column in b so i'm going to write those terms over here as 1 multiplied by 2 plus negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 plus 0 multiplied by 3 and then for my next element i'm going to switch this down by one row and write 2 multiplied by 2 3 multiplied by negative 1 negative 2 multiplied by 3 similarly for my last element i'm going to switch this further down 0 multiplied by 2 negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 4 multiplied by 3 all right this can be quickly simplified as let's see we've got 2 here plus 1 so that gives me 3 then I've got 4 negative 3 and negative 6 so that gives me 4 minus 9 negative 5 and then that goes to 0 that's 2 and that's 12 so I've got 14 for my last value and this is in fact having three rows and one column so that's our result all right I hope this video helps